Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Audio Kit Synth 1, which has just been updated for the iPhone. Yes, yes. And it has also been given a new sound bank by Francis Peeve. And as you can see, if you hit this little show here, it says show, I don't know if you can see that actually, but if you hit show, it expands the keyboard here. Uh, you still have your tuning, your sequence, your effect. It's exactly the same. It's just all been made to fit the iPhone. Okay, so, as you will, this is one of the sounds. So it all works exactly the same. And uh, look, these are the new Francis Peeve. Sound bank here. Okay, so I'm going to explain how all this is set up in a second, why it's set up like this. <laughs> important thing to remember about audio kit synth one it is completely 100 percent free the all the developers work on this for nothing they, they give all their time for free so if you want to support them if you go and buy digital d1 audio kit digital d1 that helps support audio kit and all the free and they don't take any money from that you know they put it all back into developing this stuff you know so it's very very cool <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Don't need that switched on. 48 volt phantom. Right, okay, I'm going to quickly explain how this is set up. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. It does not have a headphone socket, which is just, why, why Apple? Why did you remove the headphone socket? Because now you have to go through all this stupidness to get the sound out of the iPad. Because... <clears throat> Of course, if you plug headphones in, you can hear it via the lightning connector, or you can buy a little dongle that has the, you know, the three and a half mil jack on. But what if I want to do what I'm doing now is like, you know, record, I, I want to hear the sound and I want to play a MIDI keyboard. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to have an audio interface. Okay, so this is how this is set up. This is the Lightning, <clears throat> the Apple CCK3 Lightning, which has the power supply as well. So you can plug the iPhone into charge and also the USB connector. <clears throat> Excuse me. This round here, this is a um, powered hub, powered USB hub. It's a, it was a cheap one, but it works fine. It has four, four slots. So the output from the powered USB hub, the the you know, the USB goes into the CCK. And then the on the back of the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, the um, USB goes out of there and into the, the hub there. So that gives you like control over your MIDI keyboards and stuff like that. And then also, the, at the back of the, so that gives you your audio out sort of thing. So you could plug in, uh, like, this. Is, these are the outputs from the back of my mixer. So that's what's given me the microphone. And the, the USB from the keyboard is also plugged into the powered hub. But because the powered hub is going into the iPad, everything that you plug into this can be controlled by the phone. Sorry, not the iPad, the iPhone. Can be controlled by the iPhone or iPad, depending. Uh, the only reason that these outputs are coming from the back of the mixer is that I can record the microphone as well. And I'll quickly show you that as well. Just the iPad will move around a little bit. Let me just show you how that's set up. So you might have noticed that out of the back of the focus, right, is the left and right outputs. And they are going into, I'll show you, I don't know if you can hear me now, but I'll just, I'll carry on shouting. So, 
So they go into out of the back of the focus, right? Into the Tascam recorder. Okay. And in the end, I take out the SD card from that. Sorry, it's on it's on there. Uh, what's it? I'll just stick it on manual focus. Okay, so it comes uh, autofocus, sorry. Right, there you go. It comes out of the back of the focus, right, into the task cam. Okay, and then the mixer, the outputs from the back of the mixer are the things that are going like that. Okay, so that's, that's how I'm recording all the audio. Otherwise, if I use screen recording, it, it, it's rubbish anyway, because it's in mono as well. Anyway, so that's that. So I'll put it back on here now. This and just let me give that a tap as well. And this is, the, I'm just refocusing the camera, so okay, that looks okay. So, yeah, so it's having no headphone socket is a real, it's a real drag, you know. Anyway. But it's worth investing in a, if you're into, it's worth investing in a, in some sort of audio interface. This one works great for me. Some fabulous new sounds as well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Also, uh, it has full MIDI lane as well. So, for example, um, let me see. Let me go back to my main screen here like this. So, let's say uh, it's with MIDI lane, if you've got a MIDI controller for the iPhone, is great as well because everything's smaller. So, let's assign a filter to this one that you can see. I think you can see this one, can't you? Yeah. So all we need to do is, where is we now with our MIDI lane? MIDI lane here, and I'll tap that one more, and I can just move it. And now I've assigned the filter cutoff to fader one here. Super simple, exit MIDI lane, and... Now, what earlier when I was playing around, I've obviously assigned the detune to Fader One as well, and I also assigned like I know you can't see, but different controllers here and there for volume. That sounds quite nice with the detune, actually. Cool bananas, top chilies and cool beans. <laughs> the top banana, cool beans. Anyway, listen, I'm going to go. But there you go. It's completely 100% free. It's fabulous. It's great that they've ported this. I, I wish Apple would have left the headphone socket in because all I would have needed to have done then is like I do with the iPad is take the audio out straight into the back of the little recorder, into the mixer, records everything into the Tascam. Job done when I take the SD card out to sync up the video so you get good quality stereo audio. Yeah. Oh, 
awesome. Just, just brilliant. Listen, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, uh, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you possibly, possibly can, please consider becoming a Patreon uh, for as little as a dollar a month. Help support what we do here at the Scientist Dream because you can't do it without the support of the community. Anyway, thanks again, and I will see you guys later. Yes, yes, audio kit. Synth 1, now for your iPhone as well. It'll also work on the iPad as well, obviously, just, you know. But it's already for the iPad free. <laughs> Sarah, see you later.